perfection is virtually impossible. I think that perfect is quite hard to define, as in what's perfect to one person might not be perfect to another. You're never going to achieve perfection, but you're going to get better, and that's the main goal, is just to get better. Everyone's got an idea of what perfection is, but reaching it is a different thing. In your mind, you might have a certain idea, but when it actually comes to it, it's never the same sort of vision. Chasing creative perfection is probably an unattainable goal. Creativity is subjective and perfection is subjective. As a freelancer, the battle between staying creative and also creating the brief that a client sends to you is often difficult. And this is a subject that I've been thinking about for the past six to 12 months. So I took to Twitter to find fellow creatives to see what they had to say about the idea of creative perfection. Perfection is such a subjective thing, especially in the creative industry. There are so many people out there that have got an idea of perfection, myself included, but that could be very different to someone else's idea of perfection. It's all subjective in my eyes. But I think it's, it's something that a lot of people never truly find out, really. Um, I think perfect for me is just something where everything comes together um, as you wanted it, as it was originally planned. Having said that though, I think things can be perfect without that much planning. I think you can go, kind of go into something with a bit of an open mind and then end up getting an absolutely amazing uh, product that you didn't expect to get. To have something that is perfect is actually extremely rare. I think what you find is that you might think that something's going to turn out you know, perfect, but then there's always something that happens. So whether it's like, you know, a slightly different shade of blue that you didn't perhaps want, but it actually looks better. I wouldn't say that I want it to be like 100% perfect, but I want to be 100% happy to send it out. Um, and if I feel like I'm rushed and I'm not getting there, then I'll always try and get a little bit more time. Perfect isn't for us to find, I don't think. Because it's like, I go on about the coffee we just had as like, that's the, the perfect one but I don't think the people who make it should say it's perfect, you know what I mean? Because they should strive to make things better. You know, you, if you think you're perfect, you're not going to be perfect, are you? You're, you're going to settle. I don't think perfection actually exists, but it's something we should strive to work to, and no one should like, remove the wall from our eyes there. To use a, an example, maybe a well-known artistic example, would be Tracy Emin and, and the bed, the, you know, the, the bedroom that, that's so well-known. Um, it's a messy bed. To her, that would be perfect, but I think to 90% of the, the public out there, they think, nah, absolute load of rubbish. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's so subjective. Obviously, like, kind of perfection will differ from person to person, so I, I could spend three years making a record, but it might sound awful to somebody, whereas I could spend two minutes making one and, and you know, people might love it. So it's kind of, it's kind of that weird thing where it's good and it's bad at the same time if that makes any <laughs> it makes any sense I'm always there when i'm producing a piece of music on a fader thinking should i turn that up by half a decibel you know something that to anyone else they probably wouldn't even notice but i'm there really trying to make it as perfect as possible but i think i think it's much easier to see perfection as an outsider as someone who didn't make the thing whereas when you are the creator I don't know if any creator has ever looked at something they themselves have made and gone, that is perfect. I don't think that's ever happened. Perfection has never been really a part of what we do. I think perfection, from our vantage point, is something that you look at in the overall. The details matter, absolutely, but um, you don't really have time to, to fuss with them too much. You have to kind of give it your best shot, go with it, and then move on to the next thing because it, it just goes by that quickly. Have you ever produced a piece of work that you own that you consider to be perfect? No. Why is that? Because I'm still learning. I, I always feel like I, my, my only aim is to keep getting better. Um, there's, there's a sports writer I really like reading called Wright Thompson, who's an American guy who writes for ESPN. Um, every time I read his stuff, I feel completely inadequate about my own. He's, he's that good. Um, so it's kind of grounding as well to know there are people out there who, who are that good at what they do. You know, I'm a million miles from being as good as those guys, so as long as that's still a fact, then um, nothing I'm going to produce is going to be perfect, but I'm going to keep striving to get there. Have I ever made a perfect video? Um, I've made a video that at the time I thought was perfect, and looking back, uh, you know, there's, there's things that I would change. To maintain our position, to be still considered one of the top clubs in England and in Europe, has been uh, a creditable achievement. You know, I don't think it was amazingly shot. I don't think it was um, 
it was, it was the best piece I've ever made, but I think in terms of the message it made and the way it resonated across the fan base and the viewership it got as well, immensely proud of how that came out. And that wasn't a paid piece. It's not something that features heavily in my show reel, but it is a great portfolio piece for me. And it was a passion project. And as I say, the way it resonated and the impact it made, hands down for me, one of the, um, one of the most perfect pieces that I think I've made in the past couple of years. If I made a 10 minute film about something I'd finish it and then change it and then six months later oh no I need to change that part again oh the ending's not too good you'll never get satisfied with what you've done it'll be like a all right I'll, that'll do but never like oh I'm happy with it completely so it's just a case of if it's good enough for what people want then send it out but you're never going to get perfection I felt that I wrote my, at my absolute best when I'm in a state, absolute state, when I can't sleep and things are going on in my life, I feel like I can actually, my, my mind is just in a different place and I can zone out. Whereas when, like, when I'm happy like now, when I'm in a really good period of my life, it's almost harder to achieve that because you're, you're trying so hard to, you know, tap into a bit of your past when you were just writing to, to almost like stay alive. You know what I mean? Like to, to not be in that zone. So it is, it's hard to to tap into that, that perfection. I won't be satisfied until we, you just can't be as a musician because there's always something, whether you like it or not, that can be be better. Um, and it's sort of, personally, I just want to be, to reach that sort of standard where some people may like really think there's not much more you can you can achieve, but deep down you know, there's still room to grow and stuff. I think it's interesting because maybe your, your concept of perfection also changes over time too. Because I know perfection is an abstract concept. It seems like there would only be one type of perfection, right? It would be the absolute limit of whatever you're doing and be, um, but again, since it's such an eye of the beholder type thing, it's so hard to know. If you think it's perfect, that it's perfect. I think it's that simple. Most of the work that I've done that's sort of out there, I'm relatively happy with. There's nothing that I'm uh, overwhelmingly disappointed with or anything like that, but I don't think I've found that perfection just yet. And there's no guarantee that I ever will, uh, as hard as I work, because I don't know what kind of area that my career is going to take me into, and I might not be able to find that. So we just have to wait and see. Personally, I feel I'm never 100% happy with any piece of work that I've done. So, so yeah, I, I'd like to feel that that, that was the case. But um, yeah, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm, I'm never 100% happy with, with any piece of work that I've done. To me, perfection has, this, has a really negative connotation because um, I have OCD and sometimes I can take it a bit too far trying to chase that, um, you know, the perfect alignment of everything in my life and everything that's going on. Um, say with my work or even with my studies when I was at uni and so music is kind of I want it to be the opposite to that even though I was taught to be like a classically trained violinist where you can only play one way in an orchestra I really prefer to just like just roll with the mistakes that I might make and it's turned out that people prefer those little imperfections they sound a bit more characterful in my music so I started having a bit more confidence not to you know stop a take and say I need to do that again because it sounded awful and now like I enjoy it and it, it's better for my mental health just to let a lot more things slide rather than try and redo every single thing that I'm doing. Music's about feel for me, you know, whether you're headbanging into a metal song, you know, you're, you're rocking out like that, or whether it's something's a tearjerker. And humans, as people, aren't perfect. So if, if you're trying to make a perfect song, I don't think it's going to happen. You've got to kind of trust your intuition a little bit and just think, I know what I want to do, and I think my audience is going to go along with me on it, so that's what I've got to do. It's kind of, kind of like halfway between the two, I suppose, if that kind of... <laughs> makes sense a bit but it's, I guess it's just like a line you're kind of like weighing up both options and thinking you know you've got your audience on one side and you on the other and you've got to try and it's like spinning plates you've got to try and make them both work together and not kind of let one influence the other too much and kind of find some kind of happy like medium between the two like kind of like happy ground. I would say that you can have um, something that is near perfect from a creative level but I would say that you'll never get, if you asked 100 people in a room, not everybody would say, yes, that's perfect. Or, yes, that's the perfect mixture of creativity and perfection to create a masterpiece. Um, that would be extremely rare. And I think that people shouldn't really, like, 
put that pressure on themselves to aim to that. Um, like I say, you should be 100% proud of your work and that should be enough, really. You can't beat yourself up if you make these, like if you just do slip one note, because even someone playing, you know, at the Royal Albert Hall will make a tiny mistake. And so I've tried to just let myself off like the tiny mistakes, but kind of, I don't like settling for second best. So I'll always try and push myself and just reach a level of perfection that I think I'm comfortable with rather than something that I can never achieve. Just always set like realistic, like, goals that I can I can reach and then enjoy once I get there. Where do you believe that this desire in people to chase perfection comes from? I think there's there's something inbuilt in a lot of us. Some people have it more than others maybe um, but personally speaking I think it's just inbuilt and you can't get rid of that. Um, I'm not entirely sure where that comes from but maybe maybe it does come from you know, millions of years ago, survival of the fittest thing. Um, yeah, it's just an instinct, inner instinct. Um, I think probably a lot of it is like peer pressure, whether that's from, you know, like parents when you're at school, like they want you to get perfect exam results. Um, and then in your job, like your boss obviously wants you to like be the best you can be. And then a lot of us are now like influenced by like social media, things are happening around us. We see things and we want to reach that level. But I think I don't think it's healthy to like always be like, oh, I want to be perfect all the time, because it's just not real life. Like it's not reality. There is always something that will change that road to perfection. So you just have to be aware of it and not take it too harshly. Like you're not a failure if something isn't perfect. I found a job that I love and that I'm passionate about that, that I've kind of always wanted to do, and I feel very lucky to have that. I feel protective of it. So that kind of fear of, of wanting to protect and, and not, not kind of lose this opportunity I've worked for drives a lot of my desire to get better and, and, and to be the best I can be. Maybe it's a natural thing within, within people to, you know, if there's something you, you take a really keen interest in, you feel, you feel strongly about, then you're going to want to do it to the best of your ability. My idea of perfect is very different to what somebody else's idea of perfect might be and I'm not someone that focuses too much on perfection as such. I just try to do what I think looks best and what I think someone else will enjoy and I craft all of my work to whoever I'm working for in that particular instance uh, who I think will, will, will enjoy if that, if that makes sense. The crossing creativity and um, perfection. I don't think they align too well. I think, as I say, you've got to let things fall into place and um, allow your own vision to be what you deem as perfection. If you're at the bottom like me and many others and you aim for the, hot, the top of the mountain, you know, you're missing that entire, the entire journey. But all I, all I know is it's in my hands not to make perfection, but just to get better day by day, that's it. All you can do is just be true to your vision and you've exhausted every kind of fiber of the, the thing that you were trying to get toward, then I think the end result speaks for itself. If it's literally of the highest quality that you can make it, and you feel like it can't be any more perfect, then that's it. Some people are looking for a certain thing that, that makes it perfect to them, um, and something may be missing from another person's view that sort of makes it special. So you need to like express yourself through your music, I think and sometimes people try live up to expectations of trying to be what other people want them to perform it like and stuff. So you just need to do it how you want to do it. As long as you're bringing enjoyment to people, if I bring enjoyment to one person, great. That's one more person who has enjoyed themselves because of something I've done, you know? And I think that's the point. You're just trying to make people enjoy themselves. And if they don't, I mean, they'll find it somewhere else, won't they? And that's the great thing, you know? That's the great thing about the creative sector and opinions is that you might not like one thing. I've got stuff I don't like, but you know, I've got plenty of stuff I do. And I think that's why we do what we do as creators is to just bring a bit more joy to, to people in the world. <laughs>